The main culprit to cancer on the body politics is money. Money, money, money. In the 21st century, the cost of U.S. elections has risen with each cycle. American democracy elevates money above all else. Power comes from wealth and serves its interests. In the game of one dollar, one vote, only by understanding the rules of money can one see the true nature of American democracy. For politicians to win, they must secure abundant financial backing, often provided by wealthy individuals and corporations. In the long history of dark money in U.S. elections, the Supreme Court's decision in 2010 marked a turning point, freeing major donors from disclosure regulations and donation limits, allowing them to channel funds to political groups. Um, what that means is that a lot of long-standing, um, you know, safeguards around money and politics were essentially thrown out the window. Through hefty donations and behind-the-scenes influence, the wealthy steer policy directions, shifting what should be public-serving agendas toward capital interests. In 2024, over 14,000 Americans have died in gun-related violence. Yet, the U.S. government has failed to take effective measures to address the issue of gun control, largely due to the profit chain behind dark money. Organizations like the National Rifle Association, NRA, continuously lobby politicians injecting enormous funds into presidential elections and blocking gun control legislation. This conspiracy extends beyond gun control, pervading financial regulation, health care reform, and other critical areas, drowning out the voice of American citizens in public policy. They're not listening to that uh, pipe fitter, that farmer, that small businesswoman. Uh, they are listening to the person that can write them the, the $100,000 check. The revolving door between government and the private sector has become an entrenched feature of America's power network. Whenever the presidency or party control changes, large numbers of former government officials move to high-paying executive roles in private companies. Conversely, when their party returns to power, many private sector leaders take government positions. In this money-driven political system, the line between U.S. government and private interest blurs, leading to institutionalized power exchange and influence trading. U.S. elections may seem vibrant on the surface, but there has been lots of churn underneath. The voice of the public is buried under the iceberg of intertwined money and power. This is the true nature of American democracy.